Hello everybody, yes sir Nick back with another episode of R.L. Craft. Alright, so I've done a ton of grinding off screen. And to show you what I mean, I have a ton of experience. So I've been going through, doing a lot of mining. So as you can tell, I filled up on a whole bunch of diamonds, got a ton of iron, and a ton of redstone, some more lapis. Um, I put together a whole bunch of furnaces here. So this is going to be the best way I'm like going to capture all of that experience that I get from it. I tried figuring out other things and it didn't work for me. So I have all of these. So just anytime I need to throw something in a furnace, boom, got it. Get experience just like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right. In addition to doing all of that, I am now ready to get into disenchantment table because magic is at level 20. So we jump in here, make that, whoop, whoop. and I'm not sure if it matters, but I think I'll put it right there. I don't think I need anything, like any bookshelves or anything going into it, but I do need books, so grab just some empty books there and then let's see how this works um hmm, let's see so subject science yeah sure why not some random item there attacks have a chance to explode whoa dealing massive damage to the target and nearby entities around it the owner doesn't take the blast damage and the explosion doesn't damage the terrain so that's pretty cool. And then... There we go. Oh, so it uses the item. Okay. Fair enough. Good to know. So that's pretty cool. So now I can take... Uh, any of these ones that I don't like. Right? And throw those them up there. Ooh, I'm breaking. Always need that. Mm-hmm. Anything else enchanted that I need? No. Okay. I also made a whole bunch of diamond armor. Um, as you can tell, my helmet's gone. But then I also have these items that need I need to repair, but I also want to enchant. But I like the fact that these have the auto cooling. And then uh, we'll go through and try to make them even better. But I figure first we can do this. Unbreaking. Good. This one is Lesser Smite. Lesser Smite. Lowest tier of Smite. Okay, well, you know, whatever. I don't think I'll ever actually need that, but whatever. Fire Aspect. That's good. And I need one more so that way I can get Spellbreaker. See what that one does. Put that there, that there. Spellbreaker deals bonus damage to enemies with magic, like witches, evokers, and illusioners. That's pretty cool. Now, the one thing with my spell books is they won't work on my Lycanite tools, and that's okay. So let's throw that, 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 that. I'll keep the unbreaking because I'll be able to put those on my diamond tools and stuff like that. All right, so let's grab that. That's only 27, so let's put that back there. And see what we get from a couple of our books. Ooh, 30. win all, win all, chicken dinner. All right, so let's get some lapis. Throw that in there. And let's see, unbreaking three. Or Depth Strider one. Uh, let's go with the Unbreaking. So, Protection 3. Okay, that's okay. Melee, that's good. I'll be able to add other things to it. So, Fire Protection 5. I don't need that. Magic Protection. That might be good. Hmm. Okay, those aren't the best. So, let's grab some items to re roll. And. Put the empty book away. Pickaxe, axe. 
I don't really use those much anymore, but that's all right. Um, ooh, diamond tools. Or not diamond, gold. That's the one cool thing about this. Okay, so I need to grab the experience from there. So I have to be careful not to waste it too much, but... So I'm breaking three, tunneling, fortune one. I already have fortune three, so I'm good there. Tunneling, I think that gives it an ability that's kind of like vein mine. So let's go. Oh, okay. Well, I don't mind taking off the unbreaking because unbreaking is always good to have. So put that there, that there. It does suck that you only get the top one when you do this, but hey, that's all right. Unbreaking three is good for me. Okay, so let's swap those out for now. Let's see what we get here. Magic protection, unbreaking. Um, probably going to be similar. Fire protection, burning thorns. Ooh, that one might not be too bad. Advanced thorns and cooling. No, I don't need cooling. Fire protection, protection, cooling. Burning thorns, why not? Oh, okay. Well, you know, there's that. I figure if I go through and I do the enchanting stuff now, then um, it'll help out. I know this isn't the best armor you could possibly get, which is weird to say about enchanted diamond armor, but you never know. Um, there's other things, and especially like when I get like scales and stuff from sea serpents or from the dragons, then they'll be much better items to get. Advanced feather falling. Yes, I need that. Protection three, sweet. So we'll be able to combine those. Let's get those combined. So take them off now. And that one's 12 and 12. So you get protection four, advanced feather falling one, and unbreaking three. I'll take it. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Um, let's grab that bad boy, put it back. Okay, so we got protection for warming and cooling. Nope, don't need those. And these are probably going to all be the same thing. We're going breaking two on the helmet. Um, well, let's see what a book gives us. Lesser flame, respiration. Ooh, respiration. Definitely need that. Extends the amount of time the player can spend underwater. Also improves vision while underwater. Yes, please. All right, then we see what we re-rolled. Advanced fire protection, fire protection. I want either projectile protection or blast protection. That's what I really need. Ooh, projectile protection. And I know these aren't the best of each of these, but it's something better than nothing for now. And we can work with what we have later. All right, so now let's see what we can get on the respiration three. That now makes that one obsolete. Um, projectile protection two. Okay, what do we get if we go here? Fire protection, cooling, advanced blast protection, evasion. I wonder what evasion does. I have tempted to get it just because. So I know I'm not being the most efficient with my levels right now, but I don't care. So evasion. Let's try that. That looks cool. Oh, did I use? No, there's lapis. Evasion one, advanced fire protection. Okay, it is what it is. So now I have burning thorns plus advanced fire protection. Okay, so I don't want to do it this way. Um, okay, so we're going to save those. I'm not going to waste those levels just yet. All right. Um, got protection. Unbreaking. Protection. Protection. Let's, I guess, go... Protection 3. 
Advanced Thorns Unbreaking. Okay, I'll take it. I like it. And then I can slap on Respiration with it. And if I get another projectile protection, yes. Good. I was hoping to get something a little bit more, but. Projectile protection, too. I could probably take it off that one. Do I have another book? Yes, I do. I don't know, though. Do I want to waste the diamond chest plate? Hmm. I mean, projectile protection three is better than two. If I could get a book of two, do I have? Nope. Mm, okay. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can get on this book. Advanced fire aspect, flinging, protection one. Uh, it's projectile protection that I want. Okay, what else? You know what? What else do I have here? Fire protection. Protection 2. Curse of van or vulnerability. No, thank you. Protection 2. I mean... Let's see. Because the chest plate... I don't have a ton of gold. So I used a whole bunch of gold to make golden apples. So I have some god apples, and then I have some regular golden apples. Oh, and then I've also made a couple of things. So I got a quill scepter, a scorch fire scepter, a scythe scepter, and a spectral bolt scepter. They're pretty cool. So I put them in my, uh, put them in my hand, and they start shooting things out. Okay, let's see. Iron Strengthened Longbow. I think I have another one of those in here. Is that it? Oh, that's a Bronze Strengthened. Let's see what we can get on that. I don't think we can get Infinity, and I know we're not going to get anything better than, like, the Advanced Punch with the Power 5, but, hey, you never know. Arrow Recovery. Sure, why not? So, Lesser Flame, Range, Arrow Recovery 3. Cool. Cool. That's nice. Um, now what do we get if I put the book in? Lesser Flame, Lesser Smite, and Sharp Shooter. Sharp Shooter. That's, try saying that ten times fast. Hmm. That sounds scary. Uh, I do have paper. I could make some more books if I wanted to. Three to be exact. So I'll leave the piece of paper there. So, welcome to Enchanting with Yes and Our Nick. Temporary lapse in remembrance of how that works. Not the one I wanted. Lesser Flame, Lesser Smite, and Sharpshooter. Uh, let's go with Sharpshooter. What does that do? Oh. Uh, increases projectile speed and range and reduces inaccuracy. Nice. What else? Power, economical. Sure, why not? Gives a chance for your weapon to not consume ammo when used. Bane of arthropods. Ugh. Long cast. That's cool. That only belongs to... Uh, I remember what that one was. Yeah, long cast belonged to the, uh, oh, what was it called? Um, I have enough diamonds to the, you know, the thing, the fishing rod. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. And let's not use that just yet. Okay, so I want chest plate. I always get that backwards. There we go. I want projectile protection too. None of those. Bane of arthropods it is. All right. Uh, unbreaking I'll keep. Economical, get rid of. Bane of arthropods, sharpshooter. 
Keep the respiration. Magical protection, projectile protection too. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay, so put that uh, with the other one. And now we'll be in a better position. Oh, we got to take it off first. So that one with that one. Put those together. Projectile protection four. Go unbreaking three. There we go. Okay, then I need to do the pants, but I don't have enough of that. But now I do. And 10 was the lesser. Remember that. And then the helmet. So we put that with respiration. Now I have respiration. And did I have unbreaking? I have unbreaking 3 on that one. Sweet. So unbreaking 3. Need to put unbreaking on that bad boy. There we go. Okay. Feels right to me. Now, let's see. So now that I got diamond enchanted armor, I don't need diamond enchanted tools or any others. I got the two that I need. And then these guys will cover most everything else. Um, so the bow. So that's bronze strengthened. Now, what did we have in the backpack? Uh, that bow can go out there. Okay, put those back in the tools. For now, we'll just put those in there. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I have the tool belt. Um, if I really want to remember how to use it, I don't care too much for it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so I have the Tome of Experience. So I'll use these to get me better skills. Let's go farming. Okay, and did that. Now, put that there. Um, let's get attack up to there and there. Okay, and skill unlocked. Killing a monster will give you a short strength buff. All right, I'll take it. And then put those back on there. And let's see. Um, combat. Let's see. Random crits. Sure, why not? Melee damage increases direct damage output 10% direct damage per level. Cost 11. Okay, so we're good there. Draw bowstring back faster. I like that one, but combat specialization. Oh, that's right, I can't choose that one because I chose mining to begin with. That's okay. Crafting. Cooking speed increases furnace cooking speed. Random tick increase once per level. Shift right click with empty hand to bind furnaces to you. Hmm. Interesting. Green thumb. Harvest efficiency. Gives crops extra harvest. Chance of hooking something extra when fishing. I haven't done a lot of fishing, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Combat wise, I do like random crits. Yeah, there we go. Done. Okay. So now I've used my levels up. That was fun. Uh, so, some backstory. Um, I had Spot and Dot and Wolf. Well, I took Spot and Dot with me to go hunting down below down here and well spot decided to go swimming in lava despite my best wishes you know and I told him not to do it and he's like no I gotta do it dog cause I'm a dog so I was like no please don't don't do it you'll die but he did it anyway so I've been randomly clearing this stuff out trying to, I don't know, just get better position for stuff um, and 
go through and harvest. But you know, I've felt that I've been spending way too much time hanging out at my base down here. I need to go explore. I really do. Uh, part of the purpose of this pack or part of the design is that you have to go through and you have to ex do more exploring. And a lot of it's exploring based and hunkering down isn't necessarily the best thing in the world to do. So we are going to go and explore. So let me put those away. Clear up some space. Put away that in there. Um... Let's see, but I guess I'll keep the iron on me. Keep the torches on me. Because they're a pain in the butt to make. Oh, that's right. I'm, trying, I'm putting the obsidian away. All right, so I have two water bottles of purified water. Let's see. What is in my backpack that I want to take with me? I have the compass. I know how to find my way back for the most part. Ooh, something I wanted to do. Actually, I want the obsidian. So I had this thought, right? I need to take obsidian and some eyes of ender. I need to make some ender chests. My thought process, my thought process behind that is, ooh, I'm just getting distracted by all the shiny objects. Sorry. My thought process is that I should put these at a few of the portals. That way, if I die, I have an ender chest. So, you know, I was going to leave one here. Put it in down here. I'll figure out the best place for it. Oh, I already have one. So I have the ender chest here. I think I put one in the nether already. Um, yeah, that's right. I did. So I have a map there. I have some diamond. I have some Uzi liner material. I don't need those two swords in there anymore, but I, I should put better weapons in there. Let's put this away. All right, so let's see. Um, I need to bring my summoning staff with me, so I'm going to put the diamond rapier in there. And so uh, I'll put half my golden apples. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to... Oh, I need to bring one of these with me, but I'm also going to put some experience in there. Because the one thing that happens is if I die, especially like I'm trying to fight a dragon or something, if I can make it to one of those waystones, I usually don't have enough XP to get back to it. Oh, and then I also need to get some death scrolls. So put those in there. There we go. And these guys don't need to be in there anymore because I've gotten good with that. There we go. And then let's put this in there, put that in there. And there we go. Okay, good to go. Um, I'll put like five or six of those in there. All right, is there anything else in here that I need to put in there? I don't think so. I think I'm good. I have all my treats and stuff in here, so I'm going to keep those in there for now. Um, we could... We'll come back for those later. Or I could decide to put it on and do it that way. But I don't know. All right, let's put these back in here. The question becomes, do I want to take one of these backpacks? If I do, I have to figure out what I want to take with me in my backpack. Um, grab a couple of those. Put it there. I think we'll be good for now. I think I'm all right. I think I'm okay with what I have. I do want to try having that there, though. I'm just curious to see what happens with it. Okay, so two purified water bottles. We're good. Let's go exploring. Oh, wait. I always forget. I need to go up through my tower so that way I can leave from the tower because that's what I built it for. See, we go up here, up the ladder. And we're just going to go exploring because that's what we're supposed to do. You know? So I come up right here. So I have my couple of pets. I have an Afrit. I have my Chupacabra. But of course I can't ride them. So then I have my Reiku. There we go. What's up, buddy? There we go. Oops. 
Okay, which direction do we want to go? Let's see. Let's grab the atlas. And see. So we've kind of gone up north. Um, there's the fire dragon, the cyclops. There's a village. There's villages there and there. Oh, that's right. I wanted to ride and just go straight out that way towards that other village. All right, so we're just going to go to the west. Hopefully, don't die, you know. We're just going to explore. All right, so how about a... Ooh, there's a manta ray down there. There's some shark things and... Oh. And you know what? I have not gone on and explored. Or maybe I have. I don't remember. <gasps> There's spawners down there. All right, let's be dangerous. How do I get down there? That's the question. Here we go. Oh, that's a trap. Okay, good to know. <laughs> See, already going swimmingly. All right, let's grab a block there. But that was an interesting trap. Okay, so that gives me some stuff there. Okay, are they coming from up top there? Hate those invisible ones in my butt. Alright, so there was like a room in there is probably where they're coming from. Yeah, there it is. I hate those little guys. They're so hard to hit. Oh, and then he launches me. What the heck? Come here. There you go. Okay, well, there was something. All right. There we go. We mastered this place. Wasn't that hard, but... Ooh, Ender Queen's Crown. Cool. I know it has something to do... It's a bauble. Or at least I think it's a bobble. Yeah. It goes around your head. And strengthening. When in any bobble slot uh, went off. I'll have to figure out what it is. Question becomes now, do we want to take our loot back home real quick? All right, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to cut for now. And then uh, I'll fly for a little bit after I go through and kind of fix up my inventory. And we'll, we'll meet back up after that, all right? All right, so I'm going to fly up here. Okay, Reiku, I will be right back, buddy. All right, guys, I'll be right back.
So that was unexpected. Um, I don't know if you saw that or not, but I shot the golem up at the top, and he went flying. Just like that. That was kind of awesome. So, yeah, that was a little cheaty, but hey, I got some cool stuff out of it. I mean, I got a block of diamond, got some glowing ingots, got another uh, emerald amulet, some recall potion, some bottles of enchanting. Yeah. So I decided to do the whole teleport to the other waystones, and I put in a couple of the uh, um, ender chests, and that dragon's still there, so I will have to grow a pair and eventually go fight him. Oh, is there another one of these? Or is this the same one? Ooh, that one's different. Yeah, so there's a couple of these battle towers. Oh, shoot. <sighs> yeah, you coming down here, Riku? That was me being a goof. Thank you. I hate it when I do that because I accidentally press shift. <sighs> Whoa. Was that a creeper that just blew up or somebody launching stuff at me? Yeah, no, I don't want none of that. So, we'll keep going. Ooh, what's that? That looks like an interesting little outpost. Oh, there's a villager there. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then randomly, there'll be, like, these spawns. So, like, you see the yetis just died. That's been crazy. Huh. Is that, like, an ice battle place? There's a ton of things that I'm just not... I'm too much of a wimp, you know? So that's pretty cool. But I have a feeling that's trapped. Those things usually are. Oh, here's a nice village. Uh, is there a waystone here? Be cool to see if there was one. There. Maybe not. I know. Sometimes I get a little too cheesy or like with not fighting things and Okay, now I'm afraid to go down because I can't see because of all the fog. Where am I at? Oh, I'm still making my way over. <gasps> There's a dead dragon. Well, can't waste this opportunity. So he was a stage four dragon before he died. Yep, I'll take your bones. So that's cool. I don't need the heart dust. All right, so another dragon skull. I swear, I didn't plan it to be that way, but hey, I'll take it. Ooh, what's this? It's like an ice village in the... Whoa, that's super cool. I don't know what it is, but it's like a snowman statue. That is crazy. Ow. <gasps> did I lose my... I did. Okay. I need to get out of the snow. Because hypothermia is going to kill me. Jeez. I didn't even think about that. Crap. And I need to get back home. Am I even flying? Okay, yeah. I lost my Uzi layer. Well, that was not good. Okay. Well, get home as soon as we can. Because I thought I still had it, but I guess when I combined them for the... Uh... Oh, poor Yetis are dying.
Okay, now I have to be careful because this is where the sirens start to appear and bad things happen. Okay, we're almost home. We're getting into familiar territory, so that's good. But yeah, I just have to be careful for those little islands that pop up. That's a weird random house. It's like an ice fishing shack. There's a hippocampus. A shipwreck. Okay, where's our home village? Okay, I just gotta keep going this way. Alright, so I'm gonna cut here and I'll meet you guys back at home. So we fought off a couple of sirens, got cheaty with another one of those iron go or not iron golems, but stone golems or whatever the heck they are. So yeah, but hey, I got some more dragon bone. I need to see about making those dragon bone tools or so let's see. Oh yeah, and then I also discovered, so if you right click on this whole Ender Queen crown, um, basically the Endermen will not attack me. They'll attack anything that it does attack me and then it will let me kill them. So that's pretty cool if I ever go Enderman hunting or for like when I go to the end or something. But yeah, for now, it's all right. So let's put some stuff away. Mm, shiny dragon scale or shiny scales not even dragon scales I forget where I put those uh, I put them there okay and then dragon bones where have I been putting those are they in here yes they are oh, and I got another manuscript so I can put that over here and put that in there and just keep learning more and more um Okay, so the recall potions can go in here. Inventory management. You know you love it. Um, all right, so let's... Eh. What do I want to build up? So defense. I want to get up to 20, so we're good there. Hold shift. Being hit by a monster while under good potion effects has a chance to propagate the bad version of those effects to the attacker. Interesting. Oh, eight skill points. I don't have enough skill. Adds a small chance to go. Yeah, sure. Why not? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Defense gathering. Oh, I guess we'll go with agility. Get that up a little bit. There we go. Increases your movement speed while on grass plath. Interesting. See, some cool stuff. Okay, so let's put this in here. Springy. When in any bobble slot, when in offhand, two or er, 0.5 jump height. And this one is 5% speed and jump height. And which one do I have here? Oh, yeah, that's right. 3% damage resistance and 2 max health. Now, I wonder... Oh, yeah, no, it does. It gives me a hole. Cool. 
So yeah, I'll take the 3% damage resistance and max health and magic shielding. I'm cool with that. Alright, anything else I want to put away in here? I guess I can put that in there. Okay, so Uzi chest plate and Uzi pants. I need to do those right now. Because this does not have that. Oh, come oh, that one does. So it's just the chest plate that didn't have it. Good to know. All right, I think that's enough somewhat exploring. I mean, I at least made a path from there here. And then one of these days I got to fight these dragons. I don't know, maybe I'll get brave enough in the next episode or something. All right, well, hey, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And if you did enjoy today's episode where we did a little bit of exploring and a lot of enchanting and got some enchanted diamond armor, uh, leave that thumbs up rating. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Check out these videos and all the other videos that I have up there. Uh, leave any comments down below. Let me know what you think about the series. Let me know if there's anything that uh, could help protect me or keep me from being scared all the time. Um, I know I got a comment the other day for, uh, about finding a hippogriff. I think the poster was like Mad Dog or something like that. So I appreciate that. I will have to get some rabbit's feet to tame a hippogriff. That'll be pretty cool next. All right. Um, anything else I want to say? I want to say thank you very much for joining me today. And you take care. Bye-bye.